all welcome back to my channel my name is amy if you're new here welcome this is going to be an unboxing of multiple different dresses that i ordered towards the beginning of the year and one that i ordered kind of recently they all just decided to come at one time this past week or so so yeah i'm going to just do a giant unboxing in one go and then hopefully when the next round comes in i'll do another unboxing then so yeah let's get started i have it written down on paper because i tried to film an unboxing of the first one that we're going to talk about and it didn't go so well i didn't remember the dates or anything really so it wasn't that clear this time I'm prepared. The first dress is from Rebellious Lamb. It's really cute. It's kind of a clown style dress. I'll post some detail shots. It came in this really, really cute. Well, first it came in like your regular plastic mailer, but then inside that plastic mailer, it came in this cute paper bag with like a paper bag sticker on the front that was custom printed to match the theme of the print. So that was really cute. 10 out of 10 for packaging. Like not only was it safely packaged, but it was cutely packaged. And that is amazing. There's so many elements that I love about this dress. Honestly, I could just insert the clip of where I was talking about this dress and I first got it. Let's open this. This is so cute. Oh my god. I, I'm sorry. If you don't like clowns, you, you should probably leave. This is too much. <laughs> this is so cute. No, this is also new to me. I'm excited. I'm very happy I bought this. This is definitely gonna fit and it's definitely gonna be comfortable. This dress is really nice quality. It's lined. It's so I got the Saks colorway. I didn't know it came with this detachable bow, and that's really cute. I love this bow. Oh my gosh. It has little beads and like pom-poms on it. It's so cute. This is a really nice like heavy, it's not heavy, but it, it has some like weight to it, cotton. And the brand name is printed in the print wow oh my gosh i didn't even notice like the gold star detail at the top that is so precious and i haven't even gotten to the actual print there's two-headed cat this little two-headed cat dude he's so cute and it reminds me of my cat tubby who I love so much and is my son. This is such a cute dress. I love the eyeball details. There's a lot of eyeballs on it. It's very creepy but cute. And it comes with like this really nice ribbon lacing in the back with a shearing panel. Yeah, it's not fully sheared in the back. It actually has like a little shearing panel. I cannot wait to cord this though, like for real. This is very cute. I am extremely happy with my purchase. It was definitely worth the wait. There's also a cute elephant on it. I regret not getting the matching head bow. Huge regret. Because I think that's just more, it's more genuine, it's more fun, so. Yeah. For Rebellious Lamb, I placed the order on January 7th, 2022, this year. The custom fee added $30, so it wasn't that bad. And they only asked for my bust and waist measurements. I haven't tried it on, so I don't really know how it fits, but that is going to come later on in this video. The order was ready on June 2nd, but I didn't open the message until June 11th. I... I am really tired after work like all the time but that was like all on me i'm so sorry i didn't read that message until like that late and then i asked them to like hey can i like wait until payday to pay you guys like they're so nice for even letting me do that but i i paid them right when i got paid they were very nice they sent it out like in the next five days and that was on june 20th so yeah they sent it out on june 20th and i got the package on july 19th and i am very happy with this purchase so far i, I don't know how it fits but if it does i think i will be extremely happy with this purchase 
The next package is from Lady Slaw. They are a brand from Poland and they recently came out with this gothic stained glass print called Dance Macabre if I'm pronouncing that wrong, to me. I was really excited about that because I wanted a stained glass print and also I kind of want to dabble a little bit more in gothic. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I've been thinking about coordinates and everything. I'll explain how long it took to get anything with my handy dandy notes here. So Lady Sloth, I placed the order on May 6, 2022. During the pre-order that happened, that closed up and they went into production with the dresses, of course. I bought the size 3XL and not the custom size. The order was shipped out on July 12th and it got here on July 24th. So that was pretty fast shipping in May, June, July. Like that was a pretty fast turnaround time, like three months. Let's open my Lady Sloth package. Why didn't I bring scissors in here? I got it. Pure will. Your power for your strength. I have a lady sloth dress and I'm an idiot. There was a whole fucking tab thing at the other freaking side. I've never ordered from Lady Sloth directly. I do own one Lady Sloth JSK. It's the one back there. But it's really cute. Yeah, but ooh. Oh. What is this? There's like cards and art. I love when they add cards and art to the order. It looks nice. I think there's like a sticker sheet. Oh, there's postcards. Postcards. I can send these in the mail. I never send postcards in the mail. I always end up hanging them up somewhere. Also, there's these funky funky skeletons. I like these funky dudes. I am so indecisive of where to put stickers, but I love these funky eyes. Let's get to the dress. This is a waist tie, I think the waist tie belt. It kind of fell out, so yeah. This is the OP. I like how everything detachable just comes not attached to the dress. No, I'm like serious. I actually do like that. This is silver. Worst nightmare. I was not expecting silver because I already bought something gold. But it's detachable so I could just put a different bow on. Okay. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. First of all, first of all, it smells like an old church or even one of my gothic and Lolita Bibles from back in the day. I like the sleeves. The sleeves feel really comfortable. They have that shearing effect with like the poof. That's why I kind of bought it because I really like that shearing sleeve effect. This fabric is really thick and it is lined. This dress is lined. And the skirt, it's like printed. The print is on chiffon. And then there's like the underskirt underneath made out of the same fabric as the bodice. Yes, the same fabric. This is such a nice soft fabric. It's buttery on the skin almost. Also, this print slaps. This is a very cool stained glass print. I am definitely a sucker for stained glass prints. I cannot wait to coordinate this. I cannot wait to try it on. It's going to be a pain in the butt to store because the neck is fully sheared so you can, it stretches a lot. Oh, and also the back is fully, I think, hold on gamers. It's like quarter sheared. It's like almost fully sheared. There's a lot of sharing back here. This dress is going to be comfortable as heck. That's all I know. I have another one to open. Oh my gosh, this is like Christmas. And finally, we have my package from CG Japan, which, y'all, what the heck is CG Japan on, okay? I ordered a singular dress, like one, one dress, okay? Have you been wondering what the heck this thing is? It's my CD Japan box. It's poggers bonkers. Why is it so big? I don't think they need to, to ship it in something that big. Back to my script. Thanks, past me. I ordered from Maximum. Um, it's a brand, Japanese brand. They have some items available on CD Japan, but they also have a web store that they sell out of, which you can buy from using a shopping service, which I may do next time, because I'm pretty sure a shopping service would just fold up your dresses like a normal human being 
skiing and then just put them in a box that had affordable shipping and then ship it to your house i don't know maybe i'm just ranting it's a little weird i'm just saying it's a little odd so this dress was in stock probably forever it came out in like 2015 so i ordered it on july 17th and it shipped out on july 20th i think i picked ems because i was gonna pick airmail originally but they were like airmail is suspended and i was like oh oh damn yeah i paid 44 dollars to ship the dress and i was like okay yeah ems it's like gonna take like not that long for it to get here it's tracked it's insured it it's a little more expensive but it's gonna get here so yeah but then like two days later two like two or three days later after i had purchased the dress they sent me an invoice on paypal for like 22.80 i was just like not expecting that i was like okay what is this they're like we need to charge you more to ship it in this box. From the picture, it did not look that big. I paid the invoice like literally a minute after they sent the email. They sent out the dress three days after I paid it. I got it. It, it was pretty fast on the shipping. Shipped on the 20th and it arrived on the 25th, Monday. Yeah, so I got this yesterday. When it arrived, my partner was like, what, what did you get? And I was like, um, I, I guess that's my dress. I don't know why it's in that big freaking box. Anyway, let's open this. This is the one that I'm like kind of the most excited about. Okay, so they kind of just like threw the dress in here like this and didn't fold it or anything, which I mean, I guess you, people maybe complained about it getting damaged in shipping. I don't know. Anyway, let's open it. I'm really excited about this. It's a very interesting set. It's very cute. I haven't seen anyone wear it. This is the dress. It's a salope from Maximum Lovely Size. It's bunny themed, which is like, Amy, you're always like, you don't like bunnies. What the heck is the deal? Do you like bunnies or not? I don't know, maybe like some bunnies. There's so much to take in about this. And I knew there was gonna be so much to dig in, but like, heck, it has a bunny hood. Yeah, this is so amazing. This looks very comfortable. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this. You can change the elasticity. Oh my God. Okay. I see. It has little buttonholes where you button the elastic into the buttonhole. You can change the tightness so you can put your preferred fit. Okay, Meta also just recently did something like this. I don't know if they did it exactly like this because I don't think anyone has dresses like that yet. They might have not shipped them out, but... This may be a banger preview of what we're about to see from Meta as well. I didn't know Maximum did this, but that's like really heckin' cool. So you can adjust the shearing. Like, wow, that's amazing. You can also adjust the um, length of the straps with these buttons. This is a really nice casual dress. Maximum may be also becoming one of my favorite brands. It's really cute. It has a detachable puffy bow. It's really soft. And there's a bunch of little bows on the front and ruffles. I cannot wait to try this on. I seriously cannot wait. The main like item that I like about this. Oh my god, I'm struggling to pull it down. Ugh. These are actually garters. Like you wear them under the salopé. I flippin' love it. And you can adjust the length of the garter straps. With this little thingy and i love the little <laughs> bunny with the button eyes i am extremely excited to wear this and i like how they scaled it up for your thigh like i was afraid that it was going to be like this little like tiny bunny and it was going to get swallowed by my thick thigh because i got big thighs it's like the perfect size for a thick thigh you can also adjust the size of the thigh right here i'm gonna wear the heck out of this i have so many outfit plans for these things all right let's get into trying these on and here is my first outfit with the rebellious lamb magnum at nose circus jsk the idea for this cord was a circus candy theme so i went with a bunch of candy accessories with sprinkles and sweet treats and it's pretty cute for a first coordinate with this jsk uh, the fit of this jsk is perfect they got my measurements 100 percent correct with room to spare and I didn't even have to untie the ribbon to put it on. I just threw it on over my head. 
it is a little bit long on me. It goes down to about mid calf um, and I'm 5'3", so the length plus the adjustable buttons in the back would make this a good choice for taller Lolitas. But I am definitely extremely happy with this purchase and I would recommend ordering from Rebellious Lamb. I love the details of the trim as well as just the print in general. It's so cute and pastel, and I was never expecting to order anything that was circus theme. But yeah, it's definitely a really cute print. And it has pockets, roomy pockets. So definitely get this dress. I also want to say I steamed these dresses before I put them on. Um, they just need a little more ironing because it's cotton. Anyway, the next dress is the Lady Sloth Dance Macabre OP. I am hope I'm saying that right. The dress is super comfortable and it's also very long, so it's great for taller Lolitas. The sleeves are long enough to reach my wrist and go a little farther than that, but the elastic does a really good job at holding it all like together and in place. I love the effect of the elastic on the sleeves. That's my favorite part. That's just my favorite part of any JSK or OP in Lolita fashion. The bodice does fit on me a little weird, but I think I may need to pull it down or wear a different bra or maybe even get it tailored, but like we'll see. I just got to play around with it a little bit more. But the print is really pretty. I just wore a small petticoat with this, but it could definitely handle my hoop skirt, I think. So I'm going to try that. But I do really, really love this print. I love this dress. You can definitely dress it up or down. And yeah, 10 out of 10. Great purchase. And finally, we have the Maximum Salopé. This set is so cute. It's so cute on, but it is a pain to get on. Well, the dress is easy to put on. Um, it's actually the easiest part of this whole set. And I also like the elastic in the back because you can really customize it to fit how you want it to. The dress is a little short though, so I would definitely wear bloomers with it. The difficult part of this dress is the garters and I wasn't expecting them to be functional but I was expecting them to at least stay up. The way that the strap works around the thigh um, they're not secure. It needs like some kind of velcro or you have to safety pin them on but like they keep sliding down so it's really irritating and I have to also wear my own pair of garters with the garter belt just to make sure my stock socks stay up and it all looks cohesive. But otherwise, I do really like this set and I do wanna purchase from Maximum again. So this is definitely the first time I filmed an outro to one of my videos, an actual proper outro. So, you know, I'm getting really professional with it. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a long time since my last video was uploaded and since the, my last review was even uploaded i really appreciate you all for sticking around being subscribed to my channel watching my videos it's really cool that you're all here i really appreciate it i really do make these videos for fun i don't really expect anything to come from this except for me just posting my reviews and opinions on the internet and people reacting to it so it's really fun to see people do that so thank you for being around and contributing. I really do appreciate it. If there's anything you all would like to see on my channel, just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the next video will come out not six months from now, but um, don't hold me to that. <laughs> I'll do my best, but I do post more on like Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that but even then I don't post that often. Real life definitely gets in the way. Let's just say that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and I hope you have a good day, week, rest of the evening, whatever. I just hope you have a good time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.